Welcome to another Duke Blade video. Motorcycling has changed my life. Be prepared for a very deep video. If you don't want to be rolling in the fields right now, then best turn off. Don't don't turn off. Just mute the video and let it play all the way through to help a brother out with watch time and all that. But just yeah, just 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 mute it. But if you're ready to be wrapped up in a marshmallowy, cuddling sleeping bag of feels, then this is the video for you. Welcome guys to another video. Yeah. Don't forget to <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> Now this lady in front of me, I don't know if you can see, but she can barely see over the steering wheel. Her eyes are the same level as the top of her steering wheel. That kind of driving gives me so much worries, you have no idea. Motorcycling has changed my life, and it's done that in so many ways. I never thought that there would be one activity, I guess, or a hobby that would basically turn out to be such a huge huge positive force in my life. So if you guys who don't know, if you're new to the channel, I used to be going down the road of being a lawyer. I was training to be a slifter, a big dick swinging up in London. So exciting. <laughs> Corporate lawyer, I look over contracts. I was so miserable. I was miserable in this job. I was miserable working to be a slifter. I, I really hated it. I took it up as a, I didn't know what else to do. So I just basically said, it, I'll become a lawyer. I've seen the TV shows I've seen, you know, I, I know it's a high paying job, I guess. Oh shit, that's not good. That's so dangerous. Do you want the strap back that's hanging off your van? Do you want the strap that's hanging off your van at the back? It's quite far out. <laughs> And I, I hate it. I was. I, I hate the word depressed. I really don't think that's what it was. I was just very sad. I wasn't happy, put it that way. I wasn't depressed. Of course, I was functioning like shit. And I had to make the decision to leave. And making that decision was difficult because you have all these pressures in your life saying like, yeah, you need to, you need to have this job that you've been like, you know, training for and blah blah blah. You're leaving law. How dare you leave law? That's ridiculous. Like all these things going on in my head man what i did was to kind of i guess to change my unhappy self you know i got a motorcycle i need something to change my life i'm not going to leave the job just yet because i have all these uh these pressures in my life but i'm going to buy a motorcycle ever since that day my life changed my life changed for the better in many ways i became more confident as a person it's so funny actually like when you start riding bikes you do notice man oh god you notice that some people are really hostile towards it of course your parents in if they're not bikers if they're scared about motorcycles and stuff they're not going to be particularly like gucci about you getting a bike but people in society man some people view you really differently it's crazy so i was still working in the law firm i turned up one day in my bike leathers i, I walked into the office and do you know what they said to me they said you need to take those off now no i was like why I, I rode into work and they said well you look like a, a delivery man it's not like i was like walking around going to meetings in my bike gear for god's sake even though that would be awesome so already there's some there was some hostility towards it but i was just like you know what i found something that i love and as soon as i got my bike like i was pretty much alone in london like after university all my friends pretty much left london all my friends you know they went off to different areas of the world they went off to you know work abroad or they went back to their home countries and like i was pretty much like stuck in london by myself right which is fine i don't mind being alone you know i didn't have any friends in my sort of direct vicinity so i bought this bike and oh that's cute that's like 10 years old little couple of 10 years old i remember that age except by that age i was just a fat slob oh shit we're going the wrong way Wow, bollocks! Didn't think it was a f dead end. Ten-year-old couple. She just gave me the middle finger, little f f Maybe she heard me bitching about her ten-year-old relationship. If you're not old enough to dress yourself properly in the morning, you're not old enough to be having a boyfriend. That is my personal opinion. Kids these days, little entitled fuckers. <laughs> But as soon as I got a bike, I started making friends, meeting other bikers, you know, just on the road even, you know, just driving around. You know, bikes kind of like, they, they opened up a world where it's like, you have mutual passion and there's loads of people around who do it. So, you know, you'll just drive around and you'll be like, oh, there's a guy who, who loves exactly the same thing as I do. I met friends. And then on top of that, I became a much more confident person as well. So when I was at this job that I hated, it made me very unconfident because I always felt that I wasn't being good enough. The way that the attitude was in that kind of industry made me feel it wasn't good enough for it. Why is this person trying to sneak past me? Go away, please. Through that, through 
through meeting people and being able to strike up conversations and I guess also through riding itself being on a bike where you have to look after yourself you have to be confident in your riding and your decision making otherwise you're gonna get hurt when you're on a bike that's just unfortunately uh, the top and tail of it but I think that it's a very good life skill to have is becoming a motorcyclist you have to take care of yourself you have to make these decisions yourself through riding solo and then also through meeting people and making friends and stuff that was the, the initial sort of kick to me being, being who I am today biking also if you are a bit housebound so like you don't really have that many friends and stuff just going out for a ride it gets you out the house man it gets you to experience the you know the roads I guess but life in general Need to go get some of that good, that good chain loop and adjust my chain because I can feel that my gearing isn't exactly as what? super sexy as it should be. I love the little cracks and bangs I get on this bike when I downshift. <laughs> and on top of that, of course, you know, I had the whole motor vlogging thing, which has kind of like scaled the whole confidence and uh, making friends and stuff thing. You know, just this week I've met new people who have been watching my YouTube channel, which is crazy for me, like that's f***ing mad, that whole idea. And obviously, everyone who watches my YouTube channel, I always, always, you guys will know this about me, I always try to reply to you. If you guys have any questions for me, I will always, 99.9% .9 of the time, reply to you. Obviously as well, motorcycling has helped me meet my fiance, the woman that I'm gonna be marrying in uh, four months or so, five months, when is it? June, July, August, September, f*** me. Four months, five months. All right, my maths is atrocious. It hasn't helped my maths, that, that's, that's Definitely for sure. You gotta love it, dude. Put your shirt back on, mate. You know, but it was because of bikes that we met. <laughs> that kid there. Hello. Yeah, you like Kawasaki, don't you, boy? He's team green, or in this case, team blue, ocean blue slash green. So this is my uh, my favorite car park for uh, testing out whether or not my exhaust is or is not road legal at the moment. In regards to, does it set off any car alarms? <laughs> Oh, bollocks, I've already f***ed up. I was too excited about setting off car alarms that I didn't realise that I needed to go through the motorcycle. F***ing it's not full over here. It's Master TZTV, hello, thank you very much for your parking. Try to see if you can set off any car alarms. No. My Ducati would set off the car, car alarms. What are you playing at? <laughs> Nothing. What a what a shame, Kawasaki's. <laughs> oh god, my nuts have just been bunched up by my pants. <laughs> For all of you gear fanatics out there, yes. Yeah, I'm not wearing full gear. Shock horror. So, Duke Blade tip of the day. If you want to rotate your motorcycle in a very tight spot, for instance, you want to shift the arse round to the left, there's a certain technique that you can employ to be able to do this. Now, what you want to do is you want to turn the handlebars all the way to the right, if you're turning left. Then you want to lift the bike off the kickstand, push backwards, and spin it round like so. By doing this, you are putting pressure to the right and to the back of the bike. So you don't want to be pulling it forwards or it's just going to fall off the kickstand. And to move it back the other way, left hand on the handlebar, right hand on the bum of the bike, lift the bike towards you, put pressure on the back, hitting down and spin. Hey, hey, hey. Learn something new every day, boyos. <laughs> I'm sorry, little girl. Shut her hands over her ears. Because my bike's so loud, but not loud enough to turn off any bloody car alarms. No, no, no. We are road legal. Just enough to scare little girls, unfortunately. They put the cones here because it's like to challenge me, I think, on this roundabout. It's not anything to do with construction. To say, can you make this tight corner, boy? Boy! Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Do let me know in the comment section below if uh, motorcycling has had an impact upon your life in any way, shape, or form. All right there, mate. Because it definitely has for me. It's been such a huge, fantastic part of my life and I'm so lucky to be able to ride awesome machines and meet cool people like yourselves. If you haven't yet, please do sign up to the website urbanwaff.com. My website, link is in the description for the motorcycle competition. Planning to launch the website on May the 1st where you can then buy tickets for the motorcycle competition to win this banking sexy motorcycle. As always, guys, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao, ciao.